In this video we'll be going through step 2, configuring the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener Controller with the Smart Life application. The way we're going to structure this video is we're actually first going to go through the process very quickly, in under 90 seconds, just to show how easy the process really is. If you do end up having any issues or things didn't quite go as expected or you'd like to see other connection methods, you can just simply continue on with the video and we'll walk through those things step by step. So without any further ado, we can get things started, but before we do, I do want to mention that we are starting with the Smart Life app already installed and we have created an account previously. If you need to do any of those things, you can simply pause the video, complete those steps, and then proceed on. So let's get that 90 second timer started right now. The first thing we'll do is go into Smart Life and log in. Like I said, we already have credentials, so we can simply enter those credentials to get logged in to the Smart Life application. Once you're logged in, you're greeted with several permission requests, and on the right side of the screen, you can see which ones we would recommend or are optional. A couple of them that are absolutely required are the local area network, which may just be on iOS devices, and the Bluetooth on all devices, iOS or Android. Once you get to this screen, you can plug in your eCairo Smart Garage Door controller. Once you plug your device in, you may have a blinking blue and red light, or like in my case, you may have a solid red light. In the event that you have a solid red light, all you need to do is press and hold the reset button until that solid red light goes out, and that will start the programming sequence. Once the light begins to blink, you can simply hit the plus icon and you should be greeted with a notification to add the device. Again, one thing that you have to have allowed is Bluetooth. If you don't have Bluetooth permissions, you will not get this pop-up. I can select go to add, enter my Wi-Fi password credentials, select next, and it will begin to push the credentials to the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener. Once the device has been added, you'll get to this screen, you can select next, you can rename the device as desired, select done, and you have now successfully added the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener within Smart Life. And now you should be able to control your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener controller. This was the quick demo of how to add the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener within Smart Life. However, if you'd like to see those steps again in a little bit slower fashion with more detail added in, you are more than welcome to continue on with the video. Or if you had any problems, you can continue on. We will show two of the three possible connection methods of connecting the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener up to the application Smart Life. In this in-depth example, we'll be using an iOS device, even though the steps are very similar if using a Google or Android device. So the first step is to download the Smart Life application. First, we would go to the App Store or Play Store, type in Smart Life, and then download the Smart Life application. Here you can see I've already downloaded it. I have a fresh install, so we will go ahead and open up the Smart Life application. If you've never logged in before, you will have to first create an account by selecting Sign Up. Account creation is easy and usually just requires an email or phone number and then you set a password for it. In this example, I have already set up an account, so I will log in, agree, and type in my user credentials. Once you are logged in, depending on the iOS version that you are operating on, you might get a couple different requests for permissions to be sent. Some of these are absolutely required, but they're not all absolutely required. It depends on how you'd like your setup to operate. So in this example, I have a notification for Smart Life to send me notifications. And since I do want to be notified when my door is open and closed, I will hit allow. The next one is where Smart Life would like to find and connect to your devices on your local network. This is a permission that I've only really seen on iOS devices, but this is an absolute necessity. The reason is because this will allow your device, your iOS device to connect to your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener via Wi-Fi. So I will select OK. If you don't have that enabled, you can always enable that within the settings application on your device. So here it wants to access my location, which I'm gonna say allow while using app. The next thing it wants permission to is to access my home data. Now I don't really use the home application on the iOS device, so I'm gonna simply hit don't allow. 
and this one is for easier connectivity which is connecting to Bluetooth and I'm going to select OK because that's going to make the connection process a lot more seamless with this device. So once I have gone through those permissions and I'm ready to get started, I'm first going to plug in the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener device. Once the device is plugged in, you may see the device light turn solid red or it may start blinking. If the device light turns solid red, then you will need to first press and hold the reset button until the light goes out and then comes back blinking. That means that this device is ready to go. So I will select got it and I will select the plus icon on the top. Now with most of our new devices, you should actually see a pop-up that says devices to be added. If you don't see a pop-up appear, you might wanna try going to the auto scan area of this screen and then see if there's anything that Smart Life needs you to do before it can enable the auto scan feature. If there's nothing for you to do yet and it still is not finding your device, that's perfectly okay. There's multiple ways to add the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener that we'll detail later in this video. Now we'll continue on with the first example. Where to add the device, I just need to simply hit go to add. When I hit go to add, it's gonna ask me for my Wi-Fi password because it's going to push those credentials to this device so that this device can connect to my Wi-Fi router. Here it pre-selected the Wi-Fi that my device is connected to. For example, my phone is connected to B and L already. So that's the one that it chose. If I did wanna switch the Wi-Fi that my device is connecting to, I could simply hit the button over on the right, go to Wi-Fi, and then select a different Wi-Fi network. One note, I do wanna make sure that when I'm selecting networks that I use a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. If your Wi-Fi doesn't have something next to it that says BNL 5G, for example, or a 5G next to it, or something indicating that you have two separate networks, you're probably gonna be okay. If there are networks that say 5G next to them, that may indicate that that's a 5G network and you just wanna make sure that you were not connected to that band of your Wi-Fi network. So I'm okay with being connected to BNL, so I'm gonna go back to the Smart Life app and type in my Wi-Fi credentials. Once I have entered my Wi-Fi credentials, I'm going to hit next and it's gonna actually push those credentials to this smart device and connect that smart device to my Wi-Fi network. Here you can see that it has checked, that it is completed. So I'll hit the next button. I could change the name if I wanted by selecting the pencil, but I'm okay with that, so I'll hit done. And then it will open up my garage door. Now I can verify that it's working correctly and connected by placing those sensors close to each other or placing those sensors far away from each other. Now this setup is fairly similar on an Android device, but sometimes if I go to add device, like I've selected here, the automatic pop-up may not appear. And that's okay because there are different ways to connect the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener. However, on the top, if you select the auto scan area, it will tell you that there may be some settings that you did not allow that are preventing you from being able to have that automatic pop-up. If this is the case, which you can see here, I don't have access location turned on, I can simply select access location. It will ask me if I want to allow the location. I will select allow, and then I can start scanning. Once I've started scanning, now I can see that that device has automatically been found. I can select the next button, and then it's gonna ask me the same questions to connect this device up. And then it will go ahead and actually confirm this device and connect it up to my Smart Life application. So there's a variety of different ways to connect the eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener up to Smart Life. This is the preferred method, if possible. But if this one does not work, there's always several other methods. Now we are going to look at a secondary method of adding your eKairo Smart Garage Door Opener to the Smart Life app if you were unable to add it through the auto scan method. In this example, I am not going to use the um, automatic method or the auto search method. So when it asks me if I want to add the garage door via this method, I'm gonna say do not add. Instead, I'm gonna go to the electrical or electrical engineering, potentially electrician category. I'm going to scroll down until I see garage door opener. This one says garage door opener Wi-Fi. However, it may just say garage door opener or smart garage door opener or Wi-Fi garage door opener. All of those are acceptable options. I will select garage door opener 
Here you can see it has actually pre-filled my network and my network password. Now, if I did wanna change this to a different network, again, I could select that arrow back and forth or the option to the right of the network, and I could choose a different network. As the Smart Like app indicates, I do wanna make sure that I'm using a 2.4 gigahertz network. Now, as I stated earlier, my network is a 2.4 gigahertz network and five gigahertz network, but my router automatically selects which network to connect each device to. So in this example, you can see that I have my network selected and I will simply select next. Now, one thing that this is gonna have us do is reset the device and make sure that the light is blinking slowly. Now you can see in the indicated example that the light is blinking about once per second and that's how we want this device to be set. So in this example, I will press and hold the reset button once again. This will reset the device and get it blinking in a specific state. So it's currently blinking rapidly, but now it has started to blink slowly. Blink, 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 about once per second. So I'll confirm that the indicator is blinking slowly. I will select next, and then I will go to connect. So this will then bring me to my Wi-Fi settings within my device, and it told me to select the Smart Life or SL option and connect to it. So here you can see that I've selected it and it is connected. So I'll go back to Smart Life now. Once I'm in Smart Life, there may be a small area below the connect button that may say to verify that you've connected or that you have connected. And once you select that small area below, it will then start connecting. What we should see is that this light on the eCairo Smart garage door opener should turn solid red. And once it does that, it tells it that it has received the credentials and it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Once it has connected, you'll see that it will say device added successfully and your eCairo Smart garage door opener has been added. This is the second connection method. There is a third. However, we're not gonna detail that one in this video for the sake of length. If you are not having success with these two connection methods, you can always email us at info at and we'll send you that third method as well as some potential connection problems that you might be having. So please, if you're having issues, feel free to reach out to us. In this video, we detailed two of the three connection methods that could be used for the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener device. The first one was the auto scan method which automatically scans if our garage door opener is in the area via Bluetooth. And the second method was the AP mode method. There is a third method known as the easy connect method. And if these two first don't work, you can always try the third method. For instructions on how to use the third method, feel free to reach out to us by email at info at ecairo.com. 